Welcome friends, the topic of today's video is development of kidney. Now let us draw the metanephros and the growing neurotic bud. This is the metanephros. This is the growing neurotic bud which is going cranially into the metanephric blastema or the metanephros. The growing end of the neurotic bud becomes dilated to form that is known as ampulla. This ampulla or the growing end of the neurotic bud now starts dividing or branching. This was the metanephros. Here you can see the ampulla has got divided into two branches. Now there are two growing ends. These growing ends will again start branching. Like this. And there will be many generations of branching. First, three to five generations of branching fuse to form the pelvis of the ureter. Next branches or the divisions will form the major calyx. And the further divisions will form the minor calyces. and the collecting tubules. Now let us look what happens to the metanephros. The growing tip of the divisions or the branches of the erotic bud will again become enlarged to form ampulla. So if this is the ampulla these are the divisions of the uretic bud and the portion of the metanephros which is surrounding this tip of the growing tip of the uretic bud will get differentiated and will form the nephron. This differentiation of the metanephros is under the influence of the ampulla or the growing tip of this uretic bud. This will influence the metanephros to form the nephron. These loose tissue of the metanephric blastema or the metanephros will become solid or clumped together to form clusters of cells. Now each solid clump is converted into a vesicle. So here if this one was the growing tip of the uretic bud, a vesicle will be formed by the metanephric blastema. Now this vesicle will soon become pear shaped and open into the uretic bud. So, on later stages, this is the uretic bud. The vesicle will become pear shaped and will open into the uretic bud. The vesicle will now become S shaped This vesicle will become S shaped now the distal end of this S shaped tube is invaginated by a tub of capillaries like this to form the glomerulus and the remaining part of the S shaped tubules will form the proximal convoluted tubule, the loop of Henle, the distal convoluted tubules, so in this way the different parts of nephron is formed by this S-shaped tubules. Now the various anomalies of the kidney. 
वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एनोमली ऑफ द किडनी इज दी कॉन्जेंटल पॉलिसिस्टिक किडनी कॉन्जेनेटल पॉलिसिस्टिक किडनी In this, many cysts are present in the kidney. These cysts are formed due to the failure of the fusion of the S-shaped tubule with the developing ureteric bud. So, when failure of establishment of contact between the ureteric bud and the S-shaped tubules occur, this S-shaped tubule will remain as a separate structure. and the ureteric bud will not fuse with it but this s-shaped tubule will continue to produce urine and will become enlarged and dilated to form cyst like structures okay in this way many cysts are formed therefore it is known as polycystic kidney disease and since it is present from birth it is known as congenital polycystic kidney disease now the ascent of the kidney since the metanephros was present in the sacral region the kidney has to ascend up to the lumbar region this is due to the differential growth of the abdomen wall which causes the kidneys to extend towards the lumbar region metanephros was initially taking blood supply from the lateral sacral arteries but with the ascent of the kidney higher branches of the abdominal aorta will take over that is the renal arteries in the lumbar region sometimes these lateral sacral branches remain and they are known as aberrant renal arteries sometimes the lower pole of the two kidneys this two lower poles get fused together to form a horseshoe shaped kidney since it looks like a shoe of the horse therefore it is known as horseshoe shaped kidney a horseshoe shaped kidney does not ascend upwards than the level of the inferior mesenteric artery because the inferior mesenteric artery will hinder if this is the inferior mesenteric artery from the abdominal aorta this will hinder in its ascent of the kidney therefore it doesn't goes above the level of the origin of the inferior mesenteric art thank you everyone this is the development of the kidney and anomalies related to the kidney thank you